Hi, I'm Kevin Hill, and today we're going to do another fun painting. So let's get started. We'll start off today with a one inch brush and some yellow, just a touch of red maybe. And let's come right up here and begin to put in a nice little sunset. Now I have a piece of masking tape down there. That's simply to keep my horizon line straight. We're going to do a nice little, little seascape, maybe with a lighthouse in it. I don't think we've even done that before. So this will be, this will be something new and interesting for you to see. All right. Touch into a little bit more of the red here. A little touch of the blue, but not much blue, mostly red. And go right around this. There, it's a beautiful soft pastel color. Now with our filbert brush and a little bit of yellow, red, and some white. Let's just begin to, to scrub in some beautiful little clouds here. Now, of course, we don't, we don't wanna overdo the clouds in this color because this color we should just, oh, we should keep it here in the center where it's really bright. And as we go out, I'll show you, we're gonna, we're gonna make the color a little darker, a little, maybe throw some blue, some black in it just to, to give us a nice effect, like we're, we're coming away from the sun. Oh yeah, that's gonna be good. There, maybe, let's just see, let's grab a little more. Some nice, beautiful little clouds down here. Don't need much, just doesn't take a lot. Oh yeah. See that, just scrub and allow all these things to happen. Okay, pick up a little bit more of the blue, a little bit of red, touch of blue in there. Nice, we're kind of just working out of the same little area on the palette, so all the colors, so they get mixed automatically. That's nice, keeps everything, see that, I have a little touch of pink in there, keeps everything tied together. There. Now, as you can see, I've done a quick, basic little sketch. I just took the filbert brush, a little bit of black, and did some rocks, and then I did a, a little lighthouse and a couple of tiny little houses right there. And it was just the filbert brush, quick outline. I drug some color just to give me an idea of where the shadow would be. Now I have some, some blue and white on the filbert brush right here. And we're gonna start painting in this lighthouse. So just set the brush down and move it. Work it around, see that round angle right there. It's pretty subtle, but it's important, you need it. Also be very careful to cover up your sketch the last thing we want to do is see two big black outlines on our, on our little lighthouse. That wouldn't work. Oh, that wouldn't. <laughs> it would look distracting. All right. This is nice. Well, you have the blue going. I think these are going to be white houses and a white lighthouse. So we'll put the blue side on the shadow of these houses just like this. Now that we're done with our lighthouse, we can just scrub in some of these rocks here. Just the dark part. Now it was really, it's kind of helpful to get the lighthouse in first because that way we can just, we'll just paint around it. It's, it's in, we don't have to worry about it. We can just have, have a good time painting in the landscape now. As you know, that's, that's more what I like to do with the landscape part. All right. Now with the two inch brush, I'll go right through some, some black, red, and blue. Mostly the, the blue and the black, a touch of red. It just makes a beautiful soft gray color. You don't want it so bright that it distracts from the rest of the painting. There, just roll it in. All right, this is looking pretty good. It doesn't take much. You see this, you can throw some brown in it. That'll look nice. Even some yellow, give it a green cast. The blue and the brown and the yellow all together, they, they make a nice little green color. Now with our filbert brush and some black, a little touch of yellow and red, loaded evenly on both sides. We can come up here and just begin dropping in some beautiful little trees. Start on, start on the line there and work back and forth. You see this? Oh yeah. 
You can do this with a fan brush. It would work just as well, maybe better. But because these trees are so small, I want a little bit more detail in this smaller filbert brush. Seems to be working pretty good. And I did just have it in my hand. I was blocking in the, the colors down there. There, you can just, you just work as you go. You grab, grab whatever you need. The brush is in your hand, you just use it. It's not that big of a deal. There. Now with our fan brush, we'll go right through some yellow, a touch of the brown and red. Tap the brush. And let's just begin throwing some beautiful little highlights out here. Of course, we don't want to overdo. Let's hit some white. Throw some white into that. Yeah. Kind of pushes it back a little further. I'm just adjusting the color a little more red. Oh, this is beautiful. All these nice colors reflect the sunlight. Nice. Just tap with the fan brush and create all these nice grassy patches. Now with the filbert brush, I'll just load it with a little bit of yellow, white, and red. And this we'll use to begin to highlight these beautiful rocks out here. Now, as you can tell, our light is right about here and shining pretty much straight down on this scene. So remember that as you go to highlight your rocks. All right. Now with our filbert brush loaded evenly with a little bit of blue, white, and red. Let's just scrub in a nice little splash here. Now, this is kind of like an old wave that's, that's already kind of curled and it's just, it's hitting and we'll throw a rock right in front of it. We can also do these little beautiful lines, foam lines and patterns here. Using, using this color and also you can grab some yellow. Let's throw some yellow in there. There. See that? Just load it right on. It's easy. Oh, it looks, looks pretty effective. Have some of that color reflecting the sky. A little bit in through there too. Not much, just enough. Now with the filbert brush and some black, we can just throw a couple of beautiful little, little rocks in this area. See that? Give the wave something to hit against. Make that nice splash. All right. All right, well, I think we're done. I had a lot of fun. I hope you did too. Don't forget to check out my website, my DVDs, and also my brush line. And thanks for watching.